We're gonna do a very sexy unboxing. In this box, you'll find a rare Amiga CD32. I think it's called the Amiga CD32. If not, you can correct me in the comments below. So without further ado, it's raining paper. I'm totally not throwing paper in this apartment. Oh my goodness. It, oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have no clue what- Oh my god, this is heavy. So first, we're gonna unbox this. I think this is a controller. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Alright, bubble wrap for myself. Oh yeah. That feels so good. I mean, when I was a kid, I always had to, you know, destroy bubbles and bubble wrap. My friend's like, no, nah, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm having fun, Mom. Alright. Um... Uh, nah, nah, nah. So this is an Amiga CD32 controller. I was, I was gonna say joystick, but no, this is not a... What the heck? This reminds me of the steering wheel from Kit and Knight Rider. Hello, Michael. Wait! Oh wait, it's the wrong way! I'm like, okay. That tins. Oh my god, this is not comfortable. Hey, shoulder buttons. At least there's a start and pause. Alright, controller looks good. Next thing I'm going to unbox. I think this is cable. Oh my, is this a power supply adapter thingy? That looks cool. So this is the power supply adapter. Or power supply unit. And I have no clue what this is. This is a communicator for Amiga CD32. Twin Express Photolite. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Please let me know in the comments below what this is. Give me some knowledge because I have never seen this. You know what? I've never seen the console. What am I talking about? All right. Let's go. I'm excited because I never, ever, ever owned an Amiga CD32 before. Oh, wow. Ta-da! Wow, look how beautiful this is! Oh my god, I'm so excited! So, we don't need an... Okay, I can just use a normal uh, RGB... RGB? No, a component cable to get this to work. Isn't this great? I have never, ever, ever touched an Amiga CD32 before! Oh my god, it's so beautiful, it's so smooth! And, and people said, be careful with the lid because the lid is so sensitive. Look how amazing this machine looks. I have no clue if it works. I don't have any games, but why don't we see there's a BIOS in it? You know, just put it on. <laughs> you know what? This is porn for me. I just get crazy when I have a look at these units. Shall we put it on? Let's see if it works. Right. Some good news and bad news. Good news, I found a cable for the NES, which I'm going to use. Bad news, I don't have a proper... Cables, it's gonna be mono instead of stereo sound. I'm sorry, but hey, you gotta do with what, with what you have, right? So let's connect these things up and see if we can get any life on the screen. I have connected it. I'm getting live. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god! Yes! It works! Oh, we have a working Amiga CD32! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! There you go! It works! Wow! That is so cool! So we don't have a CD to test anything. I think the control is in the wrong port. Let's just see. But there you have it! A working Amiga CD32. What do you guys think? Which games would you like me to tackle? Which guys do you recommend for the Amiga CD32? Let me know in the comments below! Oh, wow! I'm just so happy we have a working Amiga CD32. I mean, it's not every day that you buy something and it says in the auction may not work. I'm like, oh my god, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video and I'll be back with more, with more Let's Plays, uh, comparison videos, unboxings and stuff. You know where to find me? Feel free to subscribe to me on Coffee, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!